And so the fact that we're here today, that we're breaking ground, that we're making this huge investment in the community here, leaves me with a tremendous sense of satisfaction. And I hope it does that for everyone who has been a supporter of Shine. What we're doing is extremely important. What you've done to enable this is extremely important. So thank you for that. The challenges that we're solving every day, every week, every month, gets us closer to that final end state, that final product where you know, we'll be able to deliver in a stable and safe way these medical isotopes. And it's, it's been incredibly rewarding. Being out on the construction site and supporting the construction activities really feels like we're trailblazing, which Shine has been doing for the past seven years, but now we're laying concrete, we're installing rebar, it, it truly is trailblazing the implementation of our design. You actually get to see things physically shape up and, and grow, and that's been really cool. Being able to take part in an experiment like that was uh, a huge personal accomplishment. For me. Um, you know, there's not a lot of uh, innovation in the nuclear world right now. Um, the, you know, the pace of nuclear technology has always been very slow. In fact, I would say stagnant. Uh, but coming to Shine, you know, the we've we've skipped over that fusion is 20 years away type of mentality, and we actually proved that it's much more attainable today than than most people actually believe. So I think uh, setting that world record was an important milestone, not just for for us as a company, but for uh, nuclear fusion as an industry as well. It, it makes me feel really good. And one of the first questions that I asked after I joined the company was, tell me about therapeutics. Tell me about how things like lutetium-177 can really treat and possibly cure cancer. Uh, and that was really meaningful to me because um, leukemia and, and other blood cancers are, have a special place in my, in my heart and they're difficult cancers to treat. The acute forms of leukemia are really, really nasty, nasty things. And if we can help, uh, we can help kids who have really nasty acute uh, leukemias uh, be treated better and possibly cured, uh, that's tremendously meaningful. Uh, to think that we're gonna play a role in helping people, uh, individuals, fight cancer, that's incredibly rewarding. Within the nuclear medicine industry, there's a ton of ec excitement and optimism about the potential for these lutetium-based therapeutic drugs, um, but I'm not sure how widely that has, has gone out into the broader world. I think um, there is still a lot of research to be done and a lot of development work that needs to occur, but the potential of these, these therapeutic drugs, um, I think, is just, uh, we, we don't even know what, how high it can go yet, how, how good these drugs can get in terms of their ability to kill cancer. At Shine, we believe that everyone has a responsibility to give back to the community, to keep it healthy and safe and strong. And Shine's community engagement program was developed to enrich the community and help strengthen those relationships within it. 2019 was an amazing year of accomplishments and milestones, and 2020 is really shaping up to be a great year.
must understand that Europe has taken care of America if it comes to nuclear medicine for decades. And they have helped American patients for tens of years. Now it's time to pay back. So now we have a, a better technology, innovation moves on, and I'm happy that I can now bring that technology to Europe and basically give back, if you know what I mean. 2019 was an incredible year for Shine overall, and the fundraising activities reflected that. As the company hit milestones and, and achieved things, the investors reciprocated by either releasing the funds that had been committed or by substantially increasing the amount of investments with new deals. If you look at the achievements and the milestones that hit that released funding from Deerfield, we also added uh, Oak Tree to the deal, which is a great investor to add. We had incredible support from the angel investors um, who were both new uh, and the existing ones, and we had funding from the DOE. So it, the fundraising in some ways is a prism that, that highlights the team and the whole team that did it. And, and obviously there's the team of people who work on the fundraising, who worked so hard and achieved and drove these deals to conclusion. But it also reflects the entire Shine team because investors are doing these commitments based on one, the achievements of what's happened, but then two, their perception of the business case and the team and the ability to deliver on the future. Absolutely, this year was a pivotal and transformational year for Shine. Um, we've, we've had to uh, take what had been a technology, very exciting technology development and engineering company uh, and convert it really to uh, a, a project delivery uh, organization. They've, they've really stuck with me through a lot of ups and downs. They've carried the torch on this thing. Um, they've, you know, they've struggled with change and, you know, we, we sometimes flexible um, and having to be adaptive to changing funding conditions and, and changing market conditions and now we've added therapeutics and and so everybody's kind of hung in there um, even though they maybe didn't always know you know where things were going and that's certainly something we plan to do better uh, in the future and we're working on is, is communicating that better but but people hung in there and they still worked their butts off and still produced incredible products and still moved this thing forward uh, and yeah so I just have to say thank you to these people at Shine you know the employees here um, who make this all real it's an incredibly special team.